We're here today speaking with uh, Lisa Kleipas, uh, New York Times bestselling author. And Lisa, you have your new book, Smooth Talking Stranger, on sale now. Lisa, how are you today? Hi, great, thank you. This is featuring the Travis family. And uh, the first book was Sugar Daddy, which we all loved. And that was about, tell us about the characters in that one. And you can take us through each one as we approach your new release. Okay, well, um, I started Sugar Daddy as my first contemporary novel, mm -hmm. and uh, and I wanted it to be about a uh, woman's journey, so I started it at the time she was 14, and then showed her struggles from a trailer park life into uh, working her way up and um, finding out a lot about herself and uh, finding out secrets about her past and her mother's past and then eventually becoming involved with this very wealthy interesting family, the, the Travis family, uh, it, their Texas based family mm -hmm. and um, so she falls in love with the oldest son and then has a choice to make about a past love of hers or whether to um, go with this oldest son and then uh, in the next book I followed uh, another Travis family character, Haven Travis, who's the only daughter and I wanted to show in that book uh, also a journey, um, but this was an emotional journey on her part uh, because she starts off with a very bad relationship. Uh, abusive, abusive marriage. Abusive marriage does not last very long. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to show the dynamics of this kind of relationship and how women are led into it step by step. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then I really wanted to focus most of the book on healing, learning who she really is, finding a new love. So it turned out to be, I think, a very positive, you know, very sexy book because mm -hmm. she does find a very uh, wonderful guy that she goes on with. Yes. And in this book, Smooth Talking Stranger, it features another brother of the Travis family, mm -hmm. Jack Travis. And uh, a lot of people emailed me and, and wrote me about him because he's a, a very uh, unapologetically male character, <laughs> uh, very much a guy's guy, loves power tools, Sunday sports, you know, the missionary position. You know, he's just like <laughs> a guy. And, uh, a Texan. That's right, a Texas guy. <laughs> and so he falls in love with a feminist, our heroine, Ella Varner. But the main uh, point of the story is that Ella is an older sister and she has a younger sister who's something of a, of a screw up. Her younger sister has a baby out of wedlock and then goes into rehab. So Ella is left, as always, picking up the pieces and, and being the fixer of the family. So Ella discovers what happens to you when you have a baby uh, emotionally and uh, all, all the things that you have to start thinking about and it really changes her life and opens her up because she has this baby in her life and it actually opens her up to the possibility of new love and a new relationship with Jack Travis. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. It was a wonderful story. Thank and we you. talked about it earlier. I thought you did such a wonderful job with the emotion and the detail of the story. And just some of the things, the way Ella was thinking, I thought, wow, that's how I would think about a situation like that. That's how I would react. And uh, it really uh, is a wonderful story. It touches your heart. And, it, you. uh, and Jack is just a, a fun character. I really enjoyed him. <laughs> Good Thank hero. You. Well, yeah, he's, he's not a conflicted guy. You know, I, I yeah. know that uh, sometimes men are faced with the question of how sensitive they should be or, or not, or if it's okay to be a guy. And, uh, and I don't think that Jack ever questions, uh, you know, whether he should... Uh, you know, be manly or not. He, he just is what he yep, is. Yep. Yeah, it was a great story.